Hello. Should you say what you really think? Someone asked me that, and I thought, mm, what a great question. And you might have an instant answer to that. You might think, yes, of course you should, or, oh, no, definitely not. That might be your instant thought. A lot of people are very keen on the notion of authentic leadership. And so if you're going to be authentic, surely that means you should say what you think, doesn't it? Hmm, well, maybe not. So I was thinking about this, and I decided that there are a number of different situations in which I could have an opinion about whether or not it was important to say what you really think. So let's start with the professional situations. So if your job means that you're an expert in something, and somebody comes to you and they say, right, we're going to do X, Y, and Z, it's this project and this intention, and all of these things are going to accrue from it. If you look at that, and in your professional opinion, it's not actually going to deliver what the other person thinks it's going to deliver, then I think, yes, you should say what you really think. You should say, no, this isn't going to work. Now, how you do that, of course, you know, there's a wide spectrum of how you could approach it. Because if you just say, no, that's not going to work, you're probably not going to win any friends. You know, there are ways of doing it. You could say, could I just take those figures and go away and check them? And then come back and say, I've been looking at this. I don't really think it's going to work. Yeah, you could do that. Or you could say, I'm really sorry to have to tell you this, but on the basis of what you've told me, I don't think this is going to get you the result that you want. Perhaps we should look at it in more detail. So endless varieties on that, but you get the idea. I think in that situation, yes, it's, it probably is important to say what you really think. Some of us get paid to have an opinion. It may not always be a popular opinion, but if that is your job, then yes, you should say what you think. So other situations where this might come up. There might be a situation where somebody puts forward an idea and you look at it and you just don't really like it very much. It'll work, it'll get the result it's intended to, but maybe something about it just doesn't appeal to you. Maybe you think that there would be a different alternative way that would be either more efficient or just more enjoyable or something more to your style of doing things. Should you say what you really think then? I think this is a more of a grey area. I think there are times when it might be worthwhile saying so, but I think there are also times where it's probably better just to think, well... It's going to get the result that it's intended to. I might have done it a different way, but it's probably just a matter of personal preference. So is there anything really to be gained by saying what you really think? Maybe not. But that's certainly the question to ask yourself is, what's my purpose in challenging this? What's my purpose in saying what I really think in this situation? OK, what about the social situations? You know, when your friend turns up with uh, a new car and... It's a colour that you don't like and it's a style, um, a design of car that you think is you know, not attractive for some reason to you. Should you say what you really think? Well, this is a really difficult one, isn't it? Because if your friends just parted with their hard-earned cash to own this car and they're really excited about it and they really like it, then as their friend, all they want from you is to say, oh, that's fantastic, you must be so pleased. They don't really want you to say, mm, I don't like it very much. What were you thinking of? Because that's just going to pop the bubble, isn't it? So should you say what you really think? Well, that depends a lot on your friendship. It depends a lot on the other person and how they might take it. Maybe it depends on your history together. But unless you know someone really, really well and you're confident that you can do that without it damaging the relationship, I would say, perhaps in those situations, don't say what you really think. Now, I'm telling you what I think. I'm telling you what I really think about these things. <laughs> But maybe it's not just about having a hard and fast rule. Maybe it's about having some kind of thought process whereby you say to yourself, OK, I know what I really think about this and it perhaps isn't very popular. So ask yourself, what would be the outcome of me putting in an opinion that wouldn't be very popular? Would it achieve anything that would be of any value? And if I didn't say anything, would I feel that I'd done somebody a disservice if I didn't say something in this situation, might they go off on a track that ultimately could be detrimental in some way to them? So asking yourself those sorts of questions is perhaps a more useful approach than having a hard and fast rule about whether or not you say what you really think. There is one exception, of course, which is that if you think that something's great, if you think somebody's done a fantastic job, if you think there's a reason to be happy, then yes, say what you really think. <laughs>